Hey, I'm Brian, if you would have told me one year ago that this level of customization on the iPhone was possible without a jailbreak, I would have not believed you. But thanks to iOS 14, it is. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can get this same setup on your own iPhone completely free. So let's get started. So at first, let's maybe go into what is actually on here. Up top, I have widgets on both of my home pages. This one is from Color Widgets and it shows me the time and the date, as well as the battery percentage. And then on the second screen, I have a weather widget from Weatherline. I'm going to show you how to get those set up in just a bit. Below that is some free space. And of course, under that are all of the app icons that have this nice black and white icon theme. And thanks to the new updates in iOS 14.3 and 14.4, you can now actually open up these apps without having to go through the Siri Shortcuts app first. Of course, there are also no labels under that and also the folders have no labels either. So without further ado, let's get into how to get this set up on your own iPhone. So when you're starting out, you will probably find yourself with something like this, with all of the standard Apple app icons, no widgets, standard wallpaper, all of this stuff. To start out, we're actually going to change the wallpaper. The wallpaper that I'm using is from an app called Wally. -E. So you can get that for free from the App Store. And the wallpaper that I'm using is called Paradisum Sunset from Altitude Brand and Design. I'm going to put that in the description down below. You can also search for hashtag geometric on the app, then you should find this wallpaper as well. So you can download that to your phone. I've already done that, so I'm not going to do this now. We can then go into our settings app, go to wallpapers, choose a new wallpaper and apply this to our phone. What is important is that you have to turn perspective zoom off. That's because the widgets that actually show the free space on the home screen only work if you turn this off. So we're going to set that for both the lock screen and the home screen. What you're gonna do then is you're gonna long press on your home screen, one page over, and then take a screenshot of this blank page, which we're gonna use for the blank space on the home screen. From there, you can already add the first widget. For this, I'm using color widgets. Just choose the one that fits up here, hit done, and then we can click on that and actually customize this widget. I chose actually the same background as on my home screen in order to get that looking the same and with this nice transparency effect. For that, you can already use the screenshot that you just took. And then you can of course also change the font to something else if you like. Then you can click set widget and then it looks like that on your home screen. Now to get the blank space in between the icons and the widget up top, you're going to go in and select another widget. And this one is called Yidget. You can also get this for free from the App Store. Hit add widget for the medium one. We're going to put this in the middle, hit done. And if you click on this, hit create, you can also choose the same screenshot that we just had. You can just click save here. After that, you can go back to your home screen. Now you can see that this already looks pretty good, but it still has the wrong positioning. So we're going to long press on this, edit widget, select the middle, done. And there you have the free space in the middle. Now, how are you gonna get the app icons down here? Well, first of all, we're actually going to long press on our home screen again, and we're going to remove all of these icons from the dock. And then we can actually click down here and uncheck this page. So we only have this one to work with. For the icons, there are unfortunately not that many great icon packs for iOS yet, because customization on iOS in this way is very new. But you might know that on Android, there is a whole ton of icon packs out there. So what you can actually do is you can go to the Play Store, search for icon packs and actually choose any one you want. For this one, I'm going to use the SWART icon pack. Of course, you can't just download it from the Play Store to your iPhone, that wouldn't work. So you need to actually download the APK. Unfortunately, there's a lot of sketchy stuff out there, so be careful. If you download the APK, you can actually unpack it with 7-Zip, and then in the res drawable node DPI folder, you can find all of the icons as PNG files. These icon packs usually come with thousands of icons, which is very nice, and they're also free. So you can actually get thousands of icons for free instead of paying for only a couple hundred icons as you do with most iOS icon packs. The only problem is that all of these are PNG files because icons on Android have transparency and of course icons on iOS don't. So what you need to do is you're going to take the PNG file and convert it to a JPEG file with an online converter 
And then when you do that for all of the icons that you want on your home screen, you can just send them to your iPhone. Of course, if you have a Mac, you can just do it via AirDrop, otherwise via the cloud or via cable. And then you can find them in the Files app on your iPhone. So once you have all of the correct JPEGs for the icons that you want pushed to your phone, you can just go into the Siri Shortcuts app, and then you can create a new shortcut, add action and say, open app. And then you can select the app you want. In this case, I'm going to just choose Twitter, and then you can hit up on the three dots up here, give it a name. I'm going to name it Twitter icon. And then I can add that to my home screen. You can remove the text if you don't want any label. Of course, you can also put whatever you want there. If you want text below your icons, I'm just going to leave it blank. Then we can search for Twitter here. You have that I can add it, hit add, hit done, and then you can have that icon on your home screen. And you can now repeat that for all of the icons that you wanna have on your home screen. So once you've added all of your app icons, you'll probably have something that looks very similar to this with all of your icons down here at the bottom. And of course you can also add them to folders just like with the normal apps. And if you open them, because this is iOS 14.3, you just have this small pop-up on the top and don't have to go through the Siri Shortcuts app. So it's just as fast as if it would be a normal app. Now, of course, you might ask yourself why I don't have any label showing on the folder either. And you can actually do that by copying some very special Unicode text up here. I'm going to put this text down in the description and you can just copy that and put it up on your folder label. And then you have blank text showing up on your folder. Of course, on the second page, we're still missing that weather widget. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna long press on our home screen again and select weather line. We're going to use the daily widget in the middle size. And we're going to also add another widget to this. Also the medium one, put that down here. And again, you have to select edit widget and the middle position. And with that, you're basically done and have a setup just like I showed you before on your home screen on your iPhone. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Of course, you can post any questions that you might have in the comments down below, and you're going to find all of the links to everything mentioned in the description. Also make sure to check out my other home screen setups and my review of the iPhone 12 mini. If you enjoyed this video, you know which buttons to press. Don't forget to press that follow button on Twitter and don't forget your mask when you leave the house. I'm Brian, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.